हेलो फ्रेंड्स नमस्कार फॉर द असेसमेंट इयर 22-23 द लास्ट डेट ऑफ फाइलिंग आईटीआर हैज ऑलरेडी एक्सपायर्ड ऑन 31st ऑफ डिसेंबर 2022 नाउ देयर आफ्टर इफ अ पर्सन विशेस टू फाइल द रिटर्न फॉर द असेसमेंट इयर 22-22 22-23 एंड नॉट ओनली फॉर दैट इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड इन फाइलिंग एन अपडेटेड रिटर्न फॉर असेसमेंट इयर 21-22 और फॉर 2021 स्टिल यू आर अवेलेबल विद द ऑप्शन टू फाइल अपडेटेड आईटीआर सो क्वेश्चन कम्स that who is the person who should file updated itr through this video i'll try to put up my views for the benefit of assessees at large now let me begin my discussion with this point that when somebody is thinking about filing an updated itr he or she should know what are the key features of an updated itr the updated itr is an opportunity to file itr where you either miss to file itr or you file itr but you could not report proper income tax claim see this is important to note that even those who have filed itr but later they found that they did not report proper proper income in that they will be also available to file their updated itr and those who could not file their itr at all but they believe that they have taxable income on which tax was payable but somehow they missed to file the itr they should also think of filing itr that is an updated itr and the main point of somebody thinking of filing an updated itr is to ensure that through that updated itr they are able to report their transaction to the revenue now say for an example this year near about 31st of december 2022 that is i should say last year most of the assessees received high value transaction related information from department or they might have received e campaign related information thing and since that was a last minute exercise by the cpc income tax department so many assessees could not report that what is their real income on those transaction now if in that haphazard way of receiving the messages and acting upon that in an instant manner somebody missed to report the proper income or missed to file the return then probably such person should think of filing an updated itr however there is an additional factor that is such kind of itr that is an updated itr would require you to make the payment of additional tax which may range either 20% 25% or 50% of tax plus interest see i have put up my point like this say for the assessment year 22 23 the last date of filing itr was 31st of december 2022 this date has already expired now you have an opportunity to file this itr up to 1 year from the end of relevant assessment year say by 31st of march 2024 and if that date expire you can file it up to 31st of march 25 year however if you file itr by 31st of march 2024 you will be liable to pay 25% extra as the additional tax which will be liable on the tax plus interest otherwise payable by you and if you are filing the return by 31st of march 2025 that is 2 year from the end of relevant assessment year you will be liable to pay 50% amount extra as the additional tax on the aggregate of tax plus interest so this is something which appears to an assessee disheartening while thinking of filing an updated itr but i will all probably give you some reasons through this video which will make up your mind to think about filing an updated itr so in based on my previous discussion i again would like to put up before you who should file updated itr two persons one if your income remains unreported that you had income you had taxable income tax was payable but you did not report it to the income tax department or you had reported income but that remains under reported say for an example you have an income of rupees 15 lakh but rather than 15 lakh you reported only 10 lakh as the income in the itr so that means your income remain unreported or suppose if somebody has income of rupees 7 lakh total income on which he was liable to pay the tax but he did not file the itr up to the last date of filing itr as per section 1394 then such person should think of filing an updated itr so these are two uh, places where the person should think about filing updated itr now my dear friends i am coming to the most important part of this video that is the benefits of filing an updated itr what are the benefits of filing an updated itr if that convinces you probably you will make up your mind of filing an updated itr one this will save you from levy of penalty now which penalty i am trying to refer to here the penalty being referred to here is that in terms of section 270a section 270a of income tax act 
and mind you my dear friend this penalty could be either 50% of the tax amount or could be 200% of the tax amount so if you will compare this penalty of 50% or 200% now this 50% is when your case is of under reporting 200% is when your case of miss reporting and higher are the chances department will treat your income not reported or under reported as miss reporting so if you will compare it with the additional tax liability of 25% or 50% which will be on the tax plus interest amount both then you may say that rather than going into 200% case if i set up with the 25% liability only if i square off my liability there then probably i am in a good position so that will probably make up one's mind to think about filing updated idr secondly in addition to that those who will be filing updated itr may be able to control their interest liability also and here this interest liability i am talking would be either with regard to section 234a or with regard to section 234b and both of these interest liabilities are 1% per month so if both meters are running at the same time then it means 2% interest per month is also being attracted on your outstanding tax liability you may say how mr bhatia suppose if you are liable to file itr but you did not file itr then post due date of itr you are liable for section 234a interest till the assessment is made and if you are liable to pay advance tax that is 10000 or above as the final tax liability then you are also liable to pay 234b interest so if you are filing an updated itr somewhere down the line once you are filing itr you will be saving your liability of 234 ab which is going towards unlimitedness to the limitedness so this is one another advantage thirdly my dear friend many of people i have seen are filing itr or prompted to file itr for availing various facilities including availing of loan etc so those who are interested in availing some loan facility etc and they could not file their itr in time but now interested to file their itr or those who have already filed itr but their income is on a lower side as compared to what is their actual income for the purposes of availing a loan then they may also avail the benefit of filing updated itr so that the financial institution may vet such information for the purpose of giving them the relevant credit facility so i hope these three benefits would prompt an assessee to file Uh, updated it to conclude my dear friends this video's purpose was to uh, bring up these two three points which are very important before somebody thinks of that whether he or she should file updated itr there is an important point here to be noted that if your total income is below exemption limit or your total income is up to 5 lakh and final tax liability is not uh, payable that is it is nil then there is no need of thinking of filing an updated itr however if somebody says that okay my income is above 2.5 lakh but below 5 lakh mr bhatia i am liable to pay 1000 rupees as fees should i think of filing an updated itr this yes, they may have an option to file updated itr if the system permits to you so i hope the contents of this video uh, you must have found them useful to you thank you very much for being with me wishing you all the best jai hind